Hello, it's Thursday, May the 12th, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with the Daily Outlook from UFX Markets. The dollar gained against most of the major currencies as heavy selling in commodities supported the greenback. The trade balance came out minus 48.2 billion, worse than expected minus 46.8 billion, supporting risk aversion in the market. Stock markets closed negative as the Dow lost minus 1.02% and the Nasdaq fell by minus 0.93%. Crude oil fell by minus 5.5% after the inventories came out better than expected to close at $98.80 a barrel. Gold declined by minus 1% and closed at $1,501 an ounce. Today, core retail sales are expected at 0.7% versus 0.8% prior, PPI at 0.6% versus 0.7%, and unemployment claims at 430,000 versus 474,000. The euro snapped against the US dollar as Greece's debt concerns are once again on the agenda and European leaders are slowing additional aid. The S&P rating agency also put Portugal on possible further downgrade on banks. Technically, breaking support at 141.70 could push the pair back to 1.4. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 141.71 and a high of 144.22. Today, industrial production is expected at 0.4% versus 0.5% previously, along with the ECB monthly bulletin. The pound weakened versus the dollar, although earlier with the inflation report and the BOE governor's speech, sterling jumped above 165 only to lose gains after the commodity markets tumbled. The pair has consolidated a daily support zone at 163.20, and unless we see this level broken, once again, a rebound might be on the cards. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 163.20 and a high of 165.15. Today, manufacturing production is expected at 0.3% versus 0% previously. The yen weakened against the dollar due to the greenback's global strength, but is still trading in a narrow range. Technically, breaking resistance at 81.8 might push the pair up. Overall, the dollar yen traded with a low of 80.60 and a high of 81.30. No major economic data is expected today. Finally, the Canadian dollar. This weakened against the US dollar as crude prices and stocks fell, leading to a decreased demand for higher yielding assets. The trade balance came out 0.6 billion, better than expected 0.5 billion. Holding above support at 095.30 keeps the momentum positive for the pair. Overall, the dollar CAD traded with a low of 095.12 and a high of 096.36. Today, the NHPI is expected at 0.3% versus 0.4% previously. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at ufxmarkets.com for simple, safe, secure trading.